Alright guys, as promised, we're back with the next installment of the Civil War World of Gig here, the Civil War theme. And um, as you recall from last time, we got the fiddler player here, and we got the banjo player here, who is an injured soldier. That leg is going to be bandaged up. Alright, and uh, we decided to add one more action figure, so to speak, to the theme. So we added a dog. We added a dog here. And the dog's action is going to be, uh, he's going to be howling. His head's going to be up, going up and down, he's going to be howling at the music. Right, not fond of the music. Alright, and we also added a crossroads signs here. A little bit of a, um, play on words, so to speak. Uh, we decided to make a sign here. And then I thought, well, it should be a crossroads sign, because we have a crossroads of uh, personalities here. The Confederate soldier and Union soldier coming together for a moment of peace. So um, I thought that was kind of a uh, you know appropriate um, simile there. Okay, then we got the uh, the props here. We got the, uh, the gun on the barrel there, the CSA um, ammo pouch. In the middle, we decided to add a fire. Okay, so we're gonna have a fire going in the middle there. All right, and you just got a jug there. That's not a big deal. Um, and we added a crutch here. We got a crutch for the for the uh, Union soldier who's injured. It's going to be his crutch, okay? And the canteen hanging off his back, as well as with the Confederate soldier. And then we got his gun on a barrel back here, the USA uh, um, ammo pouch. So those are the props that we added. All right. And um, the other thing that's very different about this world of gigs, of course, any others I did, all the other world of gigs I've ever done had a, a straight metal rod uh, shaft um, with a bend in the rod as a cam to make the movement half, uh, work. And all the other ones that I did only had one movement. All right. Um, sometimes there was a second movement uh, with a connecting uh, piece. But there was only one mechanical movement. This one here is very different. This one here, I went with what's called the eccentrics uh, mechanics. Um, uh, another type of uh, energy that we use, kinetic energy, um, and uh, it's actually very similar to how the uh, engine in your automobile works. And what we got here is uh, the dowel in the middle there represents the uh, the crank, the shaft, all right, and then the circular cam you see there. The dowel is going through it off-centered. See, it's not going through the center. It's going through it off-centered. And so by doing that, when it turns, it has a high point, and then it comes down, it has a low point. And that's what makes the rod move up and down, and makes the action up above, okay? So it's going to be a lot of movement underneath here with the mechanics. So I'm going to leave that exposed. Uh, when it's all painted up and it's all moving, it's going to look pretty cool, I think. Um, it's going to be a little more uh, excitement and uh, you know a little more flavor to the whole thing and uh, so we're going to have a lot of movement here when this thing is spinning fast there's going to be a lot of movement all right you're going to have three figures doing their thing and you're going to have the, the three different cams underneath spinning on the crank with the uh, with the um, the shafts moving up and down causing the um, the action up above Okay, so I'm going to try to make this work for you. Um, I wanted to put it outside, but there's no wind at all, so that's why I put a uh, temporary propeller on there. But there's no wind whatsoever out there. So I'm going to turn up my hand, the crank, and uh, we're going to see if I can get this going for you. And um, hopefully you'll be able to see it all. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have all three figures doing their thing. See the cams underneath moving as well. Okay, now keep in mind I'm turning this very, very slow. Look at that propeller. It's hardly moving. Okay, very, very slow with two fingers. This thing's going to be spinning in the wind, and you're going to have a lot of movement here, a lot of action. Okay, and when it's all painted up, um, I think it's going to look pretty darn cool. I'll try.
try spinning it around to the other side to show you. Uh, I'm going to be very careful here because a lot of the pieces are not quite glued in place yet. I wasn't 100% sure. Okay, we're going to try to give you this side view. Okay. Okay, that's the story, that's how it's going to be, basically um, all together and finished, just a matter of uh, what I have to do now is actually <laughs> take the entire thing apart, sand each piece, paint them, and then put it all back together, so it's a pretty, uh, pretty extensive process here, and um, you know, going to take a little time for the next installment but uh, I'm really happy with that wooden uh, eccentrics movement underneath never done it before I think it's really pretty cool that it's all exposed and um, a lot of movement a lot of mechanical action going on in fact I know a certain little boy is going to like the way that looks something tells me I'm going to have to make another one of these pretty soon with a lot more wheels so um that's it. I thought the dog was a really cool kind of little addition. That's it, guys. So, hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Again, any comments at all you might have, please feel free to, you know, uh, to post them. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think. All right. We're going to just lift this up here and finish this off. This video off with just a zoom in on the what we're doing here. The Silver War experience. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Welcome Daniel.